Yes, it shall. Good morning to you, and I believe that the weekend was fantastic. Glory be to God. We are sharing truth this morning on miracles inside a miracle, and that's coming from Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. You are warmly, warmly welcome to the Really, Really Known God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adineko. It's all packaged to inform and inspire you into a real knowledge of God, a richer knowledge of the living God, powered by the Pastor Larry Adineko Center for Exasperation, the PLACE. Now this is a daily gem devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you desire to really understand this fantastic God of ours, this is your favorite channel. Yes, we are praying. Our Father and God, we bless you, worship you, and give you glory and honor and praise. We ask of God that these few moments together will be of great benefit to us all. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mark 11. <coughs> now when they drew near... Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and he said to them, Go into the village opposite you. As soon as you have entered it, you will find a call tied on which no one has sat. Lose it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you losing this? Say, The Lord has need of it. And immediately he sent immediately he will send it here so they went their way and found the call tied by the door outside the street and when they lose and they lose it but someone of those who stood there said to them what are you doing losing the call and he spoke to them just as just as commanded so they let them go okay <clears throat> they drew near um jerusalem and um, there was some uh, this little village somewhere not far from jerusalem okay and um from from there he sent two of his disciples to go and do something first here we see again how that jesus always um sent a minimum of two people on whatever it was he was asking them to do either two people to go and do this or go and do that or when they went out they went out two by two so we we learn from jesus the importance of teamwork um working as a team it's a fantastic thing it's a beautiful thing it's something of great advantage and we find out the lord jesus christ you know was into uh that kind of a thing he would always send them at least two of them I think uh, we should learn. It was teaching them the importance of teamwork. It was teaching them to learn to work with one another. It was teaching them to know that two are better than one, and that um, you know, um, just the back. The Bible says that one will encourage the other, one will assist the other, one would uh, compliment the other, and on and on and on. Two, always two. To go and get a hall for us to use two. Go and do this or that. Two, two all the time. Okay, send them into uh, the village opposite you and then you know th this implies that they, 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 they waited they stayed around while these two went on on that particular errand in other words they were that sure <laughs> he was that sure that that it, they would return with the court and anyway they were going to wait for those people anyway so he also spoke ahead go and find you will see a court tied on which no one ever sat lose it and bring it <clears throat> there's so much to learn from this particular passage Jesus knew that there was a cult there. He knew the particular address where the cult, the cult would be, if you like. And then he knew also that uh, nobody ever sat on that, on that little animal. <clears throat> we are talking about things that have come to him by revelation, either that God had shown him or spoken to him or whatever. But everything that he was talking about, it was something he was so very sure and so very precise about go into the village um just opposite us there and that probably wasn't the only village they met across as, as they were traveling down or um the villages off uh just off the main roads i'm sure that that was not the only one but this particular one he was sure you know had that the, the, the cult of an ass somewhere there and uh, it was tied and nobody ever used it all those things jesus probably knew by revelation god told him or showed him as the case may be and so he sent them to go and do that we find the gifts of the spirit manifesting in jesus christ several times okay um you know all the acts of the holy spirit you know he said uh, it would you show us things to come you know and some of these things that the holy spirit would would do we find them manifesting in the life of jesus many many times and it's important for us to use that and pray 
and desire and covet like the bible says and pray that these things will also operate in our own lives as well like that in the name of jesus christ and by the grace of god we are going to see a lot more of that as we go into the end times it's not just uh, the negative stuff of them that we find in the bible that we should expect at the end times the great things that the spirit of god will do at the end times we should emphasize upon rather than these care tactics and the things that uh, um, <clears throat> people go on talking about things that could scare you that are great things coming to, going to happen at the end of time one of them will be the, the great operations or great dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit we're going to see them you know uh, coming out and then it says lose it and bring it now if anybody says to you you know that was it didn't say when it says if there was a possibility that they would they would just ignore them there was another possibility that they would say something to them um but if anybody should say this to you why are you doing this just tell them the lord has need of it and immediately they will release it again all these things came by revelation so much so that he gave them a word to answer uh, whoever would ask them what in the world they were doing there and it went exactly like that uh, we don't need to uh, go on and emphasize over and over again the the roles of the gifts of the spirit there so they did um they went that way found it exactly as jesus has spoken about it and they lost it and some of them said why are you losing and they answered according to what jesus had said and they let them go and so uh they brought the call to jesus and threw their clothes on it and he sat on it and many spread their clothes on the road other tore down leafy branches from, from trees and sp- uh, spread them on the road and uh, those who went before and those who followed cried out to Zana, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the lord blessed is the king nom of our father david that comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the is jesus went into to jerusalem into the temple and so when he had looked around at all things and as uh, as the hour was already late he went out to bethany with the 12. so they brought the cult spread clothes on the cult jesus sat upon it and then you know we know the rest of the story but there are some intriguing things there now a cult on which nobody ever sat the first time the first person that will sit on that cult would would have issues because he was not used to that they uh, there's something um, similar close to what we call breaking in today that you need to do when you are when you're going to use a donkey when you're going to sit upon a donkey the first time somebody sits upon a donkey the bon- donkey attempts to throw that person off or just buckles under and tries to get out you know from under the person he was not used to that nobody ever did that to 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 the donkey that's the first thing that happens with any donkey you try to sit upon the donkey or he will try to get either get off from under you or throw you off or his back but this donkey was a very interesting one <laughs> um located in a particular place some people were around it and everything happened exactly as jesus spoke they brought the donkey they put clothes upon the donkey and jesus sat upon the donkey and the donkey never reacted very interesting donkey <laughs> praise god so you see uh, when god is behind something when god is the one arranging something for you or yes when his hand is involved you know even things that look impossible they would happen even things that are unlikely you will see them coming into play hallelujah a a lot of a lot of things we can say about this and so that could encourage somebody here this morning as you are listening to us that that which the lord has arranged for you it will click even when it looks as if that is not likely for you it will happen even when it looks as if i ah, <laughs> this is likely to be the result that result, for some reason supernaturally will be will be circumvented or covered in your case because it is the doing of the lord is the finger of the lord in operation that's what happened with this particular donkey he wouldn't throw this person off he wouldn't um buckle under and try to escape from under the person sitting on he just acquiesced and then followed up exactly the way the lord wanted and somebody will have uh, that miracle this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ so um and then they began to worship uh, some of them spread their clothes on the way some of them cut down leafy branches you know from trees and spread them on the road again we see some two things here some people they were they were so impressed and they were so grateful that this person has done so much in their lives and he had never really wanted uh thanks or appreciation or anything on this one occasion let us give it all and so some of them pulled off their clothes and put it on the floor you know let they just ride upon my clothes some who had no clothes found something to put on the floor some of them uh peradventure they had clothes but no they were not going to put their clothes they're going to use uh, uh, leafy branches rather and they did so so we see you know something here do for god 
as you are within your power, as you are able to do for him. You don't have to copy somebody the way somebody goes about his things and try to do your own that way. It doesn't have to go that way. If you have give, what you don't have, you cannot, you cannot offer. So some people put their clothes on the on the ground. Some people did not put their own clothes on the ground because they really couldn't afford it. <laughs> and so they got leafy branches and put on the floor. You know, just to honor the Lord. Honor the Lord to the best of your ability. You don't have to do it and copy somebody or take after somebody in particular or as the Lord has laid upon your own heart, just do. Other people, peradventure, they didn't even lay anything on the floor. All they did was to sing and to clap and to hail and all that. If that's the one you can do, please just do that which you can do. Um, what really matters is what is coming from inside your heart and God accepts it according to each person. That's what we, we, we learned from the book of Second Corinthians the other time. You know, <clears throat> God has accepts it according to your person okay so he rode into jerusalem is another is a one final lesson we're going to talk about today all the time this man has always declined to be publicly honored he has always quietly escaped or not allowed them to do that but on this one occasion he allowed everything he, he allowed it to flow that way and uh, you we could see that this whole thing was commissioned from heaven okay and so on that day yes he aligned himself with heaven that will be done that's, that's always been his life aligned himself with heaven and just allowed it to flow that way same same here as we live our lives as we live our christianity some things are just ordained from heaven and when we identify such things we allow it to go we allow it, we flow along with it and let all the glory be to god and all the blessings be to us so the lord bless you this week trust are going to have a fantastic one and uh, by his grace it shall be well for us always thank you god bless you